Uh, may phone-in question tayo. Nagtanong through Twitter si Royce. Sabi niya, bakit kamukha ni Paul Artadi ang number 13 ng Uzbekistan? Number 13 is Hassan Rahimov. So that's Paul on the left. It's Rahimov on the right. Ikaw magpaliwanag niyan. Ang taong bayan na mag... mag uh, <laughs> ang uhusga. Pap, ang uhusga. Yeah. Ano, uh, kung magkamukha ba, eh, may hawik. Alam ko na, hawik. alam ko na ang itsura ni Paul kung pumuti. <laughs> May hawig. Uh, actually, yung style of play, may hawig din. Di ba yung uh, very energetic? Yeah, control. it's sprightly. Yes. Unfortunately, Rahimov is now on, on the bench. Okay, so let's continue my story. No? Uh, ang request ko lang kasi gumawa sila video ng Opa Gangnam yeah. style. And, you know, it, it's, it, it, that, that is proof. Uh, you know, maganda yung sama nila. Kaya lang, after nila ginawa na, talo tayo sa China eh. <laughs> so, hindi naman yun ang dahilan eh. eh hindi eh. Alam mo naman eh. Pag fans ka eh. Hindi pwedeng mapamahiin. <laughs> to be on the safe side. Okay. Uh, eh, baka maybe we can put a moratorium first. No? <laughs> sa mga, fire. Uh, oh, sa mga opagang um, videos muna. Although I'm a, personally, I'm a huge fan of the opagang. Pwede mong i-tweet sa kanila eh. Sa, uh, uh, ikaw na lang. <laughs> Tweet mo si Paul para i-tweet sila ni Paul. 3 and 12 remaining here in the fourth and final quarter. Yan, ang susunod na laban ng, uh, uh, ng uh, Smart Gilas will be tomorrow, 10.30 in the morning against Macau. And we'll show the live here on Active. Again, 10.30 tomorrow morning, live dito sa Active Philippines versus Macau as uh, Smart Gilas continues its campaign in the, in the FIBA Asia Cup. There's a swipe. Look out. Pasa, Gary. Oh, what a fake! And once again, Matt Rosser creating that scoring look para dito kay Gary David. Nice ball fake. And once again, in transition, definitely one of the best. Ayun! <laughs> Fan favorite, Winasiwas Wasiwas. Ni Matt Rosser. Nice steal and great slam para kay Matt Rosser. Malakas mga sabi mga kababagyan natin. Di. 37 na yung kalamangan. Eh, binibilangan pa rin ng dagdag yung shot clock. Abawas pala, bawas. But you know, you know uh, hindi naman sa dinidigdik natin itong Uzbekistan. No? But... Uh, Yung mga kababayan natin dito, you know, some of them, they come from far places. Just to watch. Sigurado yan. Uh, just to watch the team. Baka may trabaho yung mga yan oh, eh. Uh, Ngayon, linggo, day off yan, sigurado. Ngayon, kaya, you know, if you can give them a good show. Exactly. And at the same time, you give minutes to guys like Enrico and Matt and JR. Win-win uh, yan. Maybe win-win situation. Yes. Eh, probably Uzbekis will also understand. You know, it's not like you have your starting five on the floor running up the score. Tama That's yan. not the case. Tama yan. Sunny with an aggressive move. Um, Tinambahan nga sila ng Lebanon, 69 eh. <laughs> but it's even worse. Uginisov having problems with the ball. Yung ball handling. Uh, Suspect talaga. Yeah, yun yung un, mga, isa sa mga bagay na napansin ka agad natin in the first half. Lucky break there para kay Kozlov. The leading scorer para sa Uzbekistan together with Denisov really uh, shackled by the defense of Team Pilipinas. Team Pilipinas only giving up 50 points laban dito sa Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan scoring 81 points last night laban sa Macau. Upang itala ang kanilang unang panalo. Yeah, so Uzbekistan will go, will, will slide down to one win and one loss. Number 11, Yuginisov, eh, nakipagtulakan dito kay uh, Sunny Tos. Yan yeah, naman ang leading rebounder para dito sa Uzbekistan but he had his hands full here today against Dautip and the rest of the frontline rotation ni Coach Chot Reyes. Sunny wants that ball. He's really battling at the post under a minute to play in the fourth and Enrico loses the ball. <laughs> and Tomofiv na tikman ang bagsik ni Raging Bull. No, and, you know, Enrico will not change his style of play. They will. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how he plays. <laughs> Hang time, no go. Komofid uh, gets the basketball. Here's Kozlov and he loses it. Here's Gary. Gary stops. 
Hang tight! Oh, oh nice. yes, sir! <laughs> a lot of highlights here today para kay Matt Rosser attacking the closeout. Ano ba tawag mo dyan, Miko? Dipsy do. Okay! <laughs> Ten seconds remaining uh, before uh, we wrap up this ball game. So 2.7 seconds and uh siguro naman din natay titira dito. And the Philippines will move up to two wins and one loss. Final score is 85-50. Philippines with an emphatic win laban sa Uzbekistan. The only close quarter was the first quarter. Labang lang tayo ng pito. End of the first, but then you know, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Uh, palaki lang ng palaki yung uh, lamang. The most number of points that we gave up in a single quarter was 17, and that is a testament to the kind of uh, energy and effort that we put in sa ating depensa. Naging paraan kung bakit naibaon natin sila as early as the second quarter, when, wherein we only allowed Uzbekistan to score five points. And Jeff Chan exploding for a game high 20 or 24 points, and as a result, Buong buong kumpiyansa ng Team Pilipinas, Marcus Dauti, taas ang kamay, taas kamay dito sa pangalawang panalo in three games. Everyone helping out. Ito, uh, yeah. Second unit, third unit players helping out. Tuwan-tuwa yung ating mga kababayan dito. I think ginaganaan talaga yun, yung ating uh, players because Ito, of yeah. the talagang overwhelming support no, ng mga kababayan natin. May pa-adobo pa sigurado yung mga yan, <laughs> saka pansit biho. Ah, sarap! Kami pinagawang ang baboy yan. Wow! <laughs> Sa kamunggo. Bukas, Philippines will face Macau. 10.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, papalabas natin live dito sa Active as we continue our coverage of the FIBA Asia Cup in Tokyo. So, sangala ni Coach Ron ni Magsanok ay Miko Alili. Again, final score, Philippines winning over Uzbekistan 85-50. Magandang hapon po sa kanilang lahat.